Hey YouTubers, this is Lisa from Pressure Crisp, and we're going to be making a New York strip in our Ninja Foodie. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Ninja, and we're going to be taking the rack, and you're going to be putting it in like this. And go ahead and close the lid. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and turn the foodie on, and we're going to go to Air Crisp, and we're going to go keep it at 390, excuse me. And we're just going to keep it on 20 minutes and hit start, and we're going to preheat it for 5 minutes. So while we're waiting for the um, Ninja Foodie to preheat for 5 minutes, we're just going to season with a little bit of salt. Whoop, a bit too much there. And pepper. I don't like to put too much on steaks. I like to leave them their best done on the door. There we go. Don't contaminate that and pepper. And that's all we're gonna do to it. We're just gonna wait for this to warm up. Okay, so it's been preheating for five minutes. We're gonna open it up and we're just gonna place the New York strip. Listen to that sizzle. And we're just gonna close the lid and we're gonna set it for 10 minutes and then we'll check it in five so we can flip it. Okay, we're coming up on five minutes, opening it up. Now we're just going to take this New York strip and flip it. Ooh, there we go. We're getting some nice brown on the fat. Um, we're just going to close the lid and be back in five minutes. Okay, it's been ten minutes, so we're going to open it up. Oh, that looks nice. So we're just going to do a quick temp on it, see where we're at. All right, we're at 101, 100, so we're going to actually cook this a bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. Then I'm going to flip it because the Ninja Foodie, it does have um, hot spots. Um, I've noticed, just like a regular oven would. So I'm going to go ahead and close the lid, and we're going to um, cook it for probably, we'll go for five minutes, but I'll check it in three. Okay, open it up. That oh wow, that is browning up nice. I'm gonna go ahead and temp it again. Ooh, all right, we're gonna take this off. It's 122, so I know that's gonna be perfect for him. So we're gonna take it off, and you're gonna let this rest. I'd let it rest for like five minutes. Both sides are beautiful. Look at that, and look at that. I think because I've made these steaks. Both ways, broil and tender crisp. I think the tender crisp actually um, browns up nicer. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. So we're gonna actually slice into this. Let's get this thing open, there we go. Just gonna cut that part off. There we go. Hmm, it's looking pretty good. Let me just keep slicing. This steak's actually gonna end up on a salad. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can pick it up without dripping all over the place. Look at that. That is perfect. Perfect medium rare. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. Take this and cut it a bit. All right, now we're gonna do a taste test. All right, let's go ahead and do a taste test. And I forgot a fork, so we're gonna have to use a knife here. Oops, so actually, we're just going to use our fingers. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. Very good. Chewy. Um. Making it in the tender crisp, I think, actually did brown up the meat a little bit more than broiling. Um, I would actually do it either way, and it took... Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I just broiled steaks the other day. I think the broiling actually was quicker than the tender crisping, but they both came out great. Simple, easy. Um, I definitely make a steak. Cook it in the foodie. This steak is destined to go on a salad over there. All right, and um, thank you for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe. Take care.